At the moment we're seeing climate change unfold before our very eyes. We're seeing record-breaking temperatures, heat waves, record amounts of ice is being shed, crop failures, droughts and potential famine. One way or another, climate change is going to radically transform our societies. If we don't deal with these problems now, they're not going to be solved. So this course is really about thinking through global solutions to these major global challenges. This course seemed to be more about the solutions to the problem. It's good to be part of a group of people that actually want to learn about how we can overcome these things. This afternoon we've got some talks by some local companies to see what their sustainability problems are. I'm here today to do a pitch to the students for a project slash internship starting next year. We think the students have the ability to go out and find the latest research and hopefully ultimately create the framework for what our commercial application within the resilience space will be. One of the things that interested me the most was just the range of what we were looking at. People like the Met Office or Royal Devon Next or the NHS Trust or like Kia, the construction company. I think it's a good sign that these institutions are really taking this thing seriously. Certainly what I can say is that the enthusiasm we have in the room is being mirrored in industry as well. The students are in a great position now to be the drivers of that change. So today we've come to Brixham, which is one of the UK's largest fish ports. So by bringing the students here at six o'clock this morning, we could see that auction in process. We've got a wonderful tour then from the auctioneers who could really give us a deeper insight into the fishing industry, some of the challenges that they face. The purpose of the day then is for our students in groups to identify a challenge so that they can go off and develop their idea into a mock project which they'll tell us about this afternoon. When we put those people, these bright minds together and set the challenge, the creativity and the enthusiasm is, is really something that you don't see every day. It's very exciting. Sustainability transformations are not going to happen by themselves. They need to be championed. People who are committed to enacting change, but then also have a deep understanding of the systemic issues which is holding change back. We link that with your learning to empower you to become an agent of change for a sustainability transformation.